Well, it's just gone 0600 GMT. That's 8 a.m. in Gaza, where Palestinian casualties are soaring by the hour. Gaza's health ministry says at least 165 Palestinians have been killed since Friday. Well, that's brought the death toll to almost 25,000 in just over three months of Israel's war on the Strip. The Israeli military pounded Gaza overnight and into the early morning on Sunday. Palestinian armed groups are also confronting the Israeli military in Khan Yunis. And in Rafah, an Israeli strike hit a car, killing at least three people. Two others were injured. More than a million displaced people are sheltering in the area after Israel told Palestinians it was safe from the attacks. Let's speak to Hani Mahmoud. He joins us live now from Rafa in southern Gaza. Uh, Hani, so what more can you tell us then about Israel's ongoing ground operations and, of course, all the people caught up in the fighting? Yes, good morning, Darren. Well, it seems like an intense uh, bombing campaign continues across the Gaza Strip, resulting in further civilian casualties, displacement and destruction across the territories just at early hours of last night here in Rafah city and an area where 1.9 million displaced Palestinians are sheltering in. A car was targeted on one of the main roads in a very busy uh, area, very close to a popular uh, market where three people who were in the car were killed and uh, those who were passing by on the side walks uh, were critically injured and rushed right away to Najjar Hospital. But in Khan Yunus, overnight, uh, bombing campaigns by, by air, land and sea continued in eastern Khan Yunus and the southern part of Khan Yunus and mainly concentrated within the vicinity of Nasser uh, Hospital and the surrounding area as Israeli tanks and armored vehicles kept pushing deeper and very close to the main road leading to the gate of the hospital, resulting in a vast majority majority uh, destruction of the areas, including infra infrastructure that were either uh, completely destroyed or severely damaged. The reports about many critically injured uh, uh, Palestinians in the area, residents of Batna Samin and the vicinity of Nasser Hospital, as they were fleeing their homes from the falling uh, bombs. Their number of people reported killed as well in this in these uh, attacks had to continue till early hours uh, of this morning but in Gaza and the northern part just the intensity in scale and magnitude of the attacks by by air and by land just a horrifying reminder of, of the residents of Gaza and northern part that the war just started all over again just very intense bombing campaign targeting Jabalia western of Gaza and the Shadda refugee camp where more residential homes been targeted and destroyed. People are uh, injured in those attacks are reported to a Shifa hospital. But the, the tragedy uh, of these events at the Shifa hospital is non-functional uh, hospital. So those who are reported to the hospital are risking losing their lives as there are no medical supplies and there is no medical staff available to do the uh, necessary intervention to save their lives. In eastern part of Gaza City, again, renewed uh, intense bombing by air and by land targeting uh, Shujaia, as well as the Zaytun neighborhoods, where reports about more residential homes being targeted. And it's just important to remind our viewers there are uh, more people who are still in the northern part of Gaza simply because they could not find a safe place to go to. They decided to remain in their homes and sheltered in their homes as many of their relatives, many of their loved ones and family members who evacuated south, they were killed in the southern part of Gaza within the past uh, a few weeks, just confirming that there is no place safe in the entire Gaza Strip. All right, uh, Hani Mahmoud, live for us there in Rafah in southern Gaza. Hani, thank you.